Okay, Wes, I see that you want to talk about the assets that make up the Veritas Resiliency Platform. What can you tell us about them? All right, I will. Um, so this is basically an overview of the different types of assets or components that we manage in VRP. And of course, VRP is our disaster recovery orchestration tool. It gives us the ability to perform migrations, takeovers, and rehearsals from one da uh, data center to another. And a standard VRP configuration would consist of one resiliency manager, I'm just going to denote that with an RM here, uh, resiliency manager at both sites actually, and it contains a Cassandra database that is replicated between sites. So it really doesn't matter which resiliency manager you connect to via a browser to perform your configurations or perform your migrations and stuff because um, the information can be obtained from either side and any uh, configurations can go in both sides. We also have infrastructure management server which is our uh, basic server. It's got components from VOM in it that allows us to do asset discovery and asset management. This is actually what talks to the assets to bring them online and take them offline. Now what's VOM again? VOM is our Veritas Operations okay. Manager. The Veritas and, Operations Manager. Yeah, okay. so we, it, that's actually a component that can be connected directly to the Resiliency Manager as well. That's what I'm going to put right here. And we still affectionately call it VOM, but it's, it's Veritas InfoScale Operations Manager now. And we'll have the same thing at our other sites as well. Now, you need one or more infrastructure management servers. So I can have one infrastructure management server manage all my assets, or I can have multiples manage all my assets, or various different components. They don't have to be the same type. So I'm going to have connectivity here and here. So I've got my New York data center here, my Paris data center. I have it connected to one or more infrastructure management servers through the infrastructure management server will perform our discoveries of the individual components that we want to have under VRP control. So the various components, or what we refer to as assets, are Hyper-V servers. Hyper-V servers where we'll discover on here that it is a Hyper-V server. Of course, this would be a Windows box. And we'll discover all the associated virtual machines that are running on that machine, as well as the type of storage it's using and replication. So with Hyper-V, we support two types of replication. We support Hyper-V replica, which would be software replication. And you'll have that replicating between sites. We also support hardware replication. That's what I have down here, storage replication. I only have one at each piece. But we're going to kind of represent that all these components here that are replicated to the other site so that we can do migrations and take over stuff, we need data at both sites, um, can go, it will go through hardware replication. So we're actually replicating here, but this can be a hook into that, this can be a hook into that, this can be a hook into that, and this can be a hook into that on both sides. Okay? So we can manage Hyper-V VMs, we can manage ESX VMs in the VMware environment. And we can handle applications. Now, out of the gate, the applications we support are SQL Server on Windows and Oracle on Linux. Okay? We also have a mechanism that's introduced in the last version called Application SDK, Software Development Kit. A series of Perl APIs that you can use to write your own custom code for us to perform discoveries, define the application, startup parameters, shutdown parameters, logging parameters, things like that. So you're not tied to just these two types. Okay? And of course, in order to have a migration where we're going to shut these components down and start them up at the other side, we must have replication and a way to manage that replication. So part of our asset discovery is to discover the replication that's associated to our applications that are associated to our virtual machines. We don't actually say the storage piece is an asset. Our assets are virtual machines or applications. We can also do this with a VCS via VOM, which will have a hook into a global cluster service environment where the service groups, the global cluster service groups, will be discovered with their associated applications. And then we basically have VCS, Veritas Cluster Server, do the migrations between sites and manage the replication reversals. Okay. So those are our assets. Virtual machines, applications. Sounds good. This looks like a great overview of what all VRP actually manages. So thanks Sweet. a lot, Wes, for taking us through this. Excellent.